Hey there YouTube, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Welcome back. Today I'm going to talk to you about when you're in your macros menu using Alt F11. This is the Visual Basic Editor. Um, sometimes you have so many macros, so many uh, procedures in your uh, in one of your modules here or in one of your user forms that you just get lost. This happens to me particularly when I shove too many of them instead of making a new module and putting some different uh, procedures in there. What I'll do in order to find something is if I know the name of something. For example, let's see here. I know that uh, one macro is called fake macro. You can you can see I've got a bunch of fake ones in here, but this one is called fake macro. Now. I'm there now, but let's say that there was a lot of scrolling and I knew that I was in the right module, too many macros here. What you can do, one of two ways, is you make sure that you click on and select general, it'll be at the very top of this menu bar. And then if you click on this, it'll actually show you all of the different macros and it'll take you to the top of that one. So let's click on the fake macro and it took me to the very top of that one and um, go to the next one with blah one so that's really useful other ways to get around let's say um, you wanted to get to this one called blah one uh, but you knew you were going to be dancing around a bunch of different forms and stuff you could put a bookmark that's this little flag thing and that way let's say I went into module 2 and I'm editing something in here and let's say I want to go back to this spot right here a whole bunch so I'll bookmark that too and now that I have two bookmarks if I click next bookmark or previous bookmark I can toggle between the two so that's really useful and the third and final thing is let's say I was over here in La La Land on a different uh, different module here or in this user form and I was viewing the code and I was looking through and let's pretend there was a whole bunch of stuff in here. Uh, number one, this, I can tell that this is a button or a label or something here. And this is their click event or their some kind of event on, the, on a command button or, or command thing. But if you click on the top again, general, it'll bring up only any and all general uh, procedures or functions. So you can kind of sort between those two subjects. Anyway, uh, the third and final thing, let's say I wanted to find the one called fake macro, and I didn't know that it was over here in the too many macros module here. So what I would do is hit Control F to find. Now there's three options, current procedure, current module, that's this thing here, uh, the current procedure is in between the lines. That's the current macro. Current module we said is this. Uh, also, current module can in include the current user form. Uh, or current project. That's everything in this entire project. Everything. All the worksheets, all the forms, and all the modules. So let's search for, let's see what we call it, fake macro and I'm going to hit the open parentheses because I want to find the very beginning part that has the parentheses. So let's click on current project and we're going to click find next. And hey, it found it. You can barely see it, but it's selected that uh, module and everything. There's my procedure. Whew. Now I can get started. I'm typing up this wonderful macro with all kinds of codes, except I'm just hitting random buttons, and that's probably not the best thing to do. Um, last thing, uh, well, we'll talk about the find button in more detail in another video. Thanks for watching.